Hello there everybody and happy Christmas. I'm here to share with you one of the miracles of this time of year as given to us in the teachings of the sacred book, the Holy Bible. I'm here to celebrate in particular Mary, Jesus' mother, and in a way also Joseph, Mary's husband, upon whose shoulders was placed the important task as a kind and spiritual man of raising the young boy Jesus and bringing him successfully into a meaningful manhood. Well, the Bible teaches us that Joseph was a tecton by trade. What is a tecton, you may ask? Why, it's the old term of those times for a carpenter. That's right, Joseph was a good working class man. I can just imagine him one lunchtime there in the builder's yard in Bethlehem, chewing on a little bit of goat and pigeon, which was standard fare in those times, and saying to his workmates, Hey, guess what, fellas? <laughs> Mary's pregnant. And his workmates there in the builder's yard would have said, Ah, Joe, well done, son. We're proud of you. Passing on your bloodline. That's fantastic news. Congratulations. And Joseph would have said, uh, no, no, fellas, the, the kid's not mine. And his workmates would have said, Oh, Joe, mate, we're sorry to hear that. You must be gutted. What's Mary been up to? But Joseph would have replied to them, smiling away, Oh, no, fellas, it's okay. Mary's still a virgin. We don't do that sort of thing in our marriage. And it just so happens that the father of Mary's child-to-be is God. What was that, Joe? His mates would have said. Ah, God, says Joe. You know, the fellow leaping around in the sky with his big white beard and his sandals on. Well, he is the Immaculate Conception father of my wife's child-to-be. There wasn't any funny business going on. No, 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 no. My wife is carrying the child of God the Creator. I imagine Joe's mates would have just looked at each other silently if they were being respectful, or they may have sniggered, or they might have even said, oh, come on, Joe, mate, pull the sacred lamb's wool back from your eyes and see what's really going down here, Joe. We love you, Joe, and we don't want you to be mollycoddled or cuckolded in any sort of way. If they were true friends, they might have said that. But all that we know is that now, 2,000 years later, we're still celebrating the birth of Holy Jesus to his mother Mary and having Christmas every single year. And that just goes to show you that if you can pull off a lie really, really well, it might just become legendary. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to say have a very Merry Christmas, and what happens in Bethlehem stays in Bethlehem.